Donald Trump's comments center on personal responsibility, authenticity, and the emotional weight of political decisions. His sharp criticism of Kamala Harris is a reflection of the perceived failure of the current administration's immigration policy. Trump's strategy, appealing rationally to his supporters, underscores this point. Monster who murdered Lake and Rally. He was an illegal alien who was in Border Patrol custody, but under Harris's policies, instead of being deported immediately and fast, he was set free into America. Please enjoy your stay. Lakin's blood is on Kamala Harris's hands, and she was in charge of the border. There are many, many people like that. Lakin is not the only one. Kamala is responsible for the death as though she was standing there watching it herself. She was responsible, and for so many more. Three days after releasing Lakin's killer into the United States, Harris went on television and lied to the American people, saying the border is secure. Quote, the border is secure. What kind of a politician lies to Americans about keeping the border open while precious young girls are being assaulted and killed? And Lakin is one where the press was, I mean, very strong on it, but there are thousands of people that are being killed and being criminalized and victimized by these people that are pouring into our country. I call it migrant crime. We now have migrant crime in our country. It's a new form of crime. It's called migrant crime, and it's vicious, and it's really bad. Kamala Harris should not be asking for your vote. She should be begging Lake and Riley's family for forgiveness, and Joe Biden never would mention her name. Trump's statement that Kamala Harris sought forgiveness without asking for votes acknowledges the perceived shortcomings of the government's immigration policy. The public says condemnation of Harris's role in border security and immigration enforcement resonates deeply. Trump's claim that Harris's policies have led to tragic consequences, such as the murder of Lake Riley, strikes a chord with many. This emphasis on the safety and security of American citizens aligns strongly with conservative values of law and order, individual responsibility, and public officials' accountability. The themes of responsibility, authenticity, and the consequences of political action are central to this analysis. Trump's critique suggests that Harris's policy lacks authenticity and responsibility towards American citizens. Public officials have an ethical duty to protect the lives and well-being of the people they serve. Failing to do so is a serious moral failing. Trump's demand for Harris to seek forgiveness is seen as a call for her to acknowledge her responsibility and the real human impact of her policies, urging her to face the consequences truthfully. By personalizing Kamala Harris's policies through the tragedy of Lake Riley, Trump uses vivid and emotive examples to influence public perception more powerfully than abstract statistics. Strong language like murder and blood on her hands evokes intense emotions, motivating voters to act out of anger and a sense of injustice. Trump supporters view his criticism of Harris's immigration policies as both sincere and necessary, underscoring the belief that the current administration is failing to protect American citizens.